Hey everyone, um, so it's February, and if you didn't know, February is um, School Counselor Appreciation Month. And in February, it's always a good time for school counselors to kind of go over um, what a school counselor does, um, things like that. Just what do I do in the building? Uh, what are my goals? What are my um, duties? Uh, how can How do I help kids in our school? And it's also a time that we like to ad advocate for our position. Um, so I thought it might be a good thing because a lot of you all might not know um, some things about school counselors. So um, ASCA is our American School Counseling Association, and we use ASCA to um, to model our programs after. So they have a national model, and this is just a summary. And then I have some other things I want to show you, but I'll try not to make it too boring and I'll try to go quickly. Um, so let's just get started. So the Ask a National Model um, guides school counselors in the development of our school counseling program. And then here are some duties that you all can look over on your own time. Um, but basically, it's just helping students, making sure we help all students, not just the ones that we think need help, but all of them. And then on down, um, our credentials, uh, you must have a master's degree in school counseling um, in, or in order to be a school counselor. And then here's our ratios. This is what the ASCA national model um, prefers our ratios to be. It should be one school counselor to every 250 students. So here at Houstonville, we are over that a little bit, like a, about 100 students over that. But when I was at the middle school, we were a lot more over that because we only had two at the time I was there. So it does make things more difficult when you're over your ratio um, because just from my personal experience, you find that you're doing more non-counseling duties than you are actually helping kids. So when those ratios are really, really off, um, it's hard for us to be counselors. So we'll move on down. Um, we do have standards. Um, we let's see i have it up here here is our ASCA school counselor professional standards and competencies it is a big long document um i will add all of these to the email when i send this video out so if you ever want to go over them you can or if you ever think that i'm doing something that i shouldn't be doing you can check here I don't mind that. Does I think that we should all, you know, help each other and check each other if we are doing something that we shouldn't be doing. And then, uh, all right, let's keep going down. Um, but we have our stand, our ethical standards, and then we have our standards and competencies. These are ethical standards. It's another big long document. <laughs> um, confidentiality, of course. Comprehending data, uh, career and social emotional plans. So basically, I don't know if you all know this, but we have an American uh, standards and then we also have our state standards. So we have to really balance, make sure that we're completing each one, um, our state and our national. But again, another big long document. I'll let you all go over that if you want to. Um, these are our program planning. I do have a program plan. Um, it is a big binder about this thick. <laughs> um, and it goes over all of these things. And also, I don't know if you all know this, but I have to do a use of time card every day. Um, it is every 15 minutes. So the district keeps track of what we're doing as a counselor is every 15 minutes. I mean, 15 minute increments. 
And then um, let's see, our school data is, I, we use Tyler B in our district. And then every now and then I'll send out a Google form that you all have received about certain things. I've sent out one for trauma um, and things like that. Lesson plans. I do make lesson plans. Um, for example, here is my February. It's going to be since it is um, African-American History Month. Um, it's going to be on diversity, empathy and love. And um, let's see, as you see right here. These are our student um, standards. So if you look here, we have a whole group of student standards as well. So we'll come down. I just want to kind of show you what it looks like a little bit. But here are our academic development. So improve academic self and concept, acquire skills for improving learning. Um, and you can like, let's go down a little bit more. Career development develop career awareness um, and then there's a bunch here that you can that goes into more detail and if my lessons do not if they if they don't have anything to do with these standards if I can't find one standard on here that goes with that lesson then that's not a good lesson so um, ASCA national model suggests that you find three standards in that lesson and so that's what I do. I go through, I make my lesson, then I make sure I go to this document. I actually have a copy of it. <laughs> I go through this document and I make sure that I'm, I'm using all of those standards, or at least three of those standards for that lesson. All right, let's move on. Oh, there we are. Um, these are a list of appropriate and inappropriate um, activities for school counselors. Now, I am a team player and I don't mind doing some of these things that they say are not appropriate. Like I didn't mind building the master schedule or helping build it um, when I was at the middle school. Um, maintaining student records. I don't mind covering classes for teachers when they need to run to the restroom or need a break. I think I have uh, told you all that. Please call me if you need me. Um, performing disciplinary action is a big one that a lot of school counselors are like, no way, Jose, I'm not doing. But personally, I think every good counselor can spin a disciplinary issue into a counseling moment. Um, it's just all about how you look at it. So I don't want to write a student up and, you know, send them off the bus for three days or whatever. But I want to talk to that student after the principal has done that. Um, so it's all about how you look at it. And then, of course, we have our appropriate ones. And again, I'll put this on the email if you want to go over these. There's a lot of them. So there are two kind of services that school counselors use. There's the direct student services, which is going to be your instruction, um, your appraisal, advisement, counseling. And when I say counseling, I do mean classroom guidance. I mean one on one counseling and I also mean group counseling. And then um, the indirect student services would be any kind of consultation. Uh, referrals, collaboration with teachers or doctors or therapists. That's all the indirect that I'm not directly with those students one on one. Assess to achieve the best results for students. School counselors regularly assess their program. So we have to constantly change our program um, because our kids are constantly changing. Their needs are constantly changing. So we have to be mindful of that. We can't just make a um, curriculum and stick with it for 20 years <laughs> and think that's going to be OK because our kids are changing. Their environments are changing. So we have to continue to change our program. So school counselor programs should be assessed once a year. Um, 
school counselor's assessment and appraisal. Um, we just go over our competencies. Um, and then we also have an appraisal template that we can, that our district can use um, in order to see if we are following our program. Now, we are not a ASCA approved school. That's a very hard to become an ASCA approved school. But I can use these guidelines to do the best that I can to make sure our kids needs are being met. Um, in order to be an ASCA approved school, you have to go through a program called RAMP, R-A-M-P, and um, it's called RAMP approved. And you have to make sure you sure your school is following these um, these set of guidelines to a T. For example, I couldn't be one school counselor to 250 students. At our school, we have 350. So therefore, we wouldn't be ramp approved because of that. But again, that's pretty much what a school counselor does. And if you all have any questions or want to talk about anything, um, you let me know. If you want to go through um, some of these ethical standards, again, you can do that. Um, and if you just want more information about ASCA National Model, um, please come to me and talk to me about it. I would love to talk about it. Um, this is the program, my program that I went through to become a school counselor was an ASCA approved program. So I'm pretty well informed about ASCA and uh, trying to follow the guidelines as best as I can. Um, so again, um, I hope you all learned a little bit more about school counselors and um, let me know if you have any questions. You'll have a great day. Bye bye.